Hello dear students. Now in today lecture we will discuss characteristic of physical adsorption and chemical adsorptions or what is the difference between physics option and chemical options. This thing we will discuss in the form of differences. So let's we start. Now in the first lecture mein, we have already studied that what is meant by adsorbent and adsorbent. During adsorption phenomena the surface on which adsorption occur is known as adsorbent and the molecule which adsorb on the surface is known as adsorbent. So it is observed that in a physical adsorption in between adsorbent and adsorbent there is a weak force of attraction will be present. So we can say that in between adsorbent and adsorbent there is a weak force of attraction in a physical adsorption. And generally this weak force of attraction is nothing but a Van der Waals force of attraction. So this Van der Waals force of attraction is present between adsorbent and adsorbent in a physical adsorption. While in chemical adsorptions, in between adsorbent and adsorbent, there is a strong force of attraction will be there. So it is observed that they have a strong force of attraction. Ek dusre ke saath strong chemical bonding is attached hota hai. Now such a uh, force of attraction is in one type of chemical bond and we can say in the form of chemical bond it may be uh, ionic bond or it may be covalent bond form between adsorbent and adsorbent. Now you are knowing very well that adsorption phenomena is exothermic reactions. So heat will be liberated. So enthalpy change occur in a physical adsorption is comparatively less. Now heat is liberated so I have given a sign minus. What is the meaning of minus sign? It is a one type of exothermic process. Or exothermic reaction is the heat liberated. Hoti hai. So I have given a minus sign. Minus 20 to minus 40 kilojoule per mole. While in chemical adsorption, enthalpy change will be comparatively high and this may be in range of 80 to 240 kilojoule per mole. So second point of difference, the enthalpy change occur in physical adsorption comparatively low or in chemical adsorption, this enthalpy change will be high. Now, it is observed that this physical adsorption phenomena generally occurs at a low temperature. Second thing, when temperature increase, then desorption will take place. So we can say this will occur at a low temperature, temperature increase, then adsorption will decrease. So low temperature is favorable for a uh, physical adsorption. But in a case of chemical adsorption, generally it occurs at a high temperature. We can say that this chemical sorptions will occur at a high temperature and temperature having a no effect on adsorption phenomena because there is a one type of strong bond formation occurs and after formation of bond generally increase or decrease of temperature will not affect on adsorption. Now here it is observed that in a case of physical adsorptions generally occurs at a high pressures. We can say that generally it occurs at a high pressure and at high pressures on the surface of adsorbent. Suppose this is adsorbent, here more than one molecule can adsorb on this surface. On the same place more than one molecule will adsorb. So generally we can write it at a high pressure multi-molecular layer formation occurs. Multi-molecular layer means at a one place more than one molecule will adsorb. While here, at a one place only one molecule can adsorb, so at a high pressure also, it has a only one layer. So it is unimolecular layer formation occur. So in a case of chemical adsorption, unimolecular layer is there, or here per multimolecular layer is there. Now fifth point of difference, it is observed that this process is instantaneous means we can say that it is a fast in a nature molecule can adsorb very easily on the surface here it is a it may be 
स्लो और फास्ट डिपेंडिंग अपॉन नेचर नेचर ऑफ एड सर्वन हियर इट इज ऑब्जर्व दैट इट इज नॉट स्पेसिफिक इन नेचर इट इज नॉट स्पेसिफिक इन नेचर इट मींस ऑल टाइप ऑफ गैसेस कैन एड्सॉर्ब इन अ मोर और लेस प्रोपोर्शंस सो मीनिंग ऑफ नॉट स्पेसिफिक इन नेचर वी कैन राइट दैट ऑल टाइप ऑफ गैसेस all type of gases can adsorb on the surface of adsorbent but here it is highly specific in nature or we can say it is a specific in a nature so if there is a possibility of formation of bond then and that adsorption take place otherwise not for example on the surface of metal generally oxygen will adsorption occur while it is observed that hydrogen 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 gas adsorb on the surface of transition element and this adsorption occur in the form of hydride so hydride formation take place when hydrogen gas adsorb on the surface of transition element while on the surface of metal when oxygen adsorb oxide formation occurs so oxygen will adsorb in the form of oxide by hydrogen will adsorb in the form of hydride so it is specific in nature here it is not specific in nature means all type of gas can adsorb easily but one of the most important thing here the gas is having a high critical temperature we can write it gas is having a high critical temperature acha kya meaning hai high critical temperature maine short mein likha ct the gas is which can easily liquefied generally having a high critical temperature so we can write the gas is having a high critical temperature or we can write easily liquefaction is possible the gases which can easily liquefied or liquefaction possible generally will adsorb in a more proportions so gas is having a high critical temperature or gases which liquefaction is easy will adsorb in a high proportion or we can say adsorption will be more adsorption occur in a more proportion so here it depend upon nature of adsorbent so we can write here it depend on nature depend on nature of adsorbent each and every having a specific natures so it is depending on nature of adsorbents now for physical adsorption generally it has a required less amount of activation energy humne activation energy ke bare mein padha hai the minimum amount of energy required to complete reaction is known as a activation energy so for this sorry i have to write here for this physical adsorption activation energy required will be comparatively low while in case of chemical adsorptions the activation energy required for this adsorption phenomena this will be comparatively high so the most important thing here activation energy required comparatively low or here activation energy required comparatively high now here the gas whatever adsorb it can left the surface if you are increasing a temperature or if you are decreasing a pressures so we can say that it is reversible in nature suppose gas adsorb on the solid surface and we are getting a system just like gas on solid so it is a reversible in nature just i have to write it here it is a reversible i will write for this point at here reversible in nature while here strong bond formation occurs so yani gas ek par adsorb ho chuka then it can't left the surface so we can say it is a irreversible in nature so it means that ek bar gas adsorb ho gaya then it can't left the surface and now two points are common first this both physical adsorption as well as chemical adsorption will increase with the surface area if surface area will increase then adsorption phenomena will increase and one of the most important things generally adsorption of a sugar color particle on surface of charcoal is example of physical adsorptions by adsorption of hydrogen gas particularly on nickel surface is the example of chemical adsorption but on hydrogen gas hydrogen gas on nickel metal or on rainy nickel first initially weak force of attraction just like a van der waals force of attraction is there 
So in initial stage, it is a moderate force of attraction. So it is example of physical adsorption. But when it adsorbs on metal surface, then dissociation of hydrogen gas occur, and it converted into dissociated molecules, and a strong bond formation occur with a metal. So after dissociation, it is an example of chemical adsorption. So there are variety of differences between a physical as well as chemical adsorption. So चलो एक बार रिवाइज कर लेते हैं। In physical adsorption, weak wonderwall force of attraction is there, while here strong force of attraction, just like ionic or covalent bond type of chemical bond formation occur. Here exothermic reaction is there, so sign I have given negative, enthalpy change comparatively low. Here enthalpy change comparatively high. Minus 80 to minus 240 kilojoule per mole. Generally, this occurs at a low temperature, or temperature badega, then adsorption will decrease. It occurs at a high temperature, and temperature having a no effect after formation of chemical bond. Here, at a high pressure, multi molecular layer will form, means at a one plus, more than one molecule can adsorb. Here, always unimolecular layer will be forms. Here, this process is very fast. Instantaneous or it may be slow or fast. A physical adsorption is was specific in not a specific in nature. Any all type of gases can adsorb in more or less proportion. While here chemical adsorption is specific in nature. If there is a possibility of formation of bond between a adsorbent and adsorbent, then and then adsorption occurs. For example, on surface of metal, oxygen gas adsorbs in the form of oxide. On the surface of transition element, hydrogen adsorbs in the form of hydride. Now here, the gas is having a high critical temperature or is there a liquefaction possible? Then adsorption will be more in a case of physical adsorption. While chemical adsorption is depending on nature. Now in case of physical adsorption, activation energy required it will be comparatively low. While here, activation energy required comparatively high. Now here, the most important thing, physical adsorption is reversible in nature, means gas can adsorb on the solid surface, then after it can remove or it can adsorb, so it is both way possible, forward as well as reverse reaction possible, adsorption, desorption occurs, so it is reversible in nature, here it is irreversible in nature, once it adsorb, then gas cannot left the surface very easily, while adsorption of uh, Sugar color particle on the surface or pollutant on the surface of charcoal is example of physical adsorption. After dissociation, adsorption of hydrogen gas on nickel metal is example of chemical adsorption. So, dear students, in today's lecture, we will discuss what is difference between physical and chemical adsorption. Take screenshot; it will be helpful you to make a note. And if you really like our work, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in next lecture.